always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. We're seeing a lot of cloud cover across West Michigan right now, and some areas are seeing some flurries. So far, we've had very little impact from any of those flurries coming down, but still, don't be surprised if you see the flurries this afternoon. And we are expecting that lake effect snow to pick up in intensity just a bit. Not a huge impact event, but as always, any of those snow bands could produce a quick accumulation. So be on the lookout if you run into one of those heavier snow bands this afternoon, because things could become a little bit slippery. In South Haven, we have the clouds overhead. And notice this camera is shaking just a bit. You can see the waves crashing up. We do have very windy conditions across the area, and we have cold temperatures too. So as you're outside this afternoon, you're going to feel the cold, and it's going to feel even colder than these already cold temperatures because we're seeing the higher winds. So right now, temperatures in the mid to upper 30s across the area, but winds are coming in straight from the west, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. We're seeing wind gusts that are closer to 30 or 35 miles per hour for some areas. So our feels like temperatures are down in the 20s. Feels like 22 in Big Rapids. Ionia has a feels like temperature of 24. Uh, Kalamazoo, 27. That's your feels like temperature at this time. Keep in mind, yesterday, we had temperatures that made it to the 60s. So this is truly a world of difference compared to what we were seeing and feeling yesterday. It's going to be a lot cooler. Make sure you're prepared for that if you're going to be outside for an extended amount of time this afternoon. Our actual air temperatures forecast to stay in the mid-30s through a lot of the afternoon, but our feels-like temperatures will continue to stay in the 20s. And actually tonight, our feels-like temperatures will be closer to around 20 degrees. We do have that partial lunar eclipse coming up tonight, so if you wanted to test your luck, see if the skies will clear out where you are, be prepared for really cool temperatures as you're out there. Tomorrow should be a few degrees warmer, 41, 43 on Saturday, back to the mid-40s on Sunday, and then we'll start off the next work week with temperatures only in the mid-30s. It is going to be a little bit cool out there before we make it back to the 40s for the Thanksgiving holiday. Storm track live right now really isn't showing too much, but we do have some flurries coming down. Notice some of those light lake enhanced snow showers starting to develop on Lake Michigan, and we are expecting the radar to fill in a little bit more as the afternoon goes on. So on Futurecast, notice that lake effect snow has started to kick into gear just a little bit more going through the rest of the afternoon. And that chance of some snow showers will continue through the evening, starting to taper off overnight. And I think inland areas will see a little bit more clearing through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, just a few flurries out there should still be seeing a little bit of clearing. The clouds will roll back in on Friday afternoon, but it does look mostly dry on Friday once we see the last of those flurries officially clearing out. So if you're traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday, Saturday looks like a good day. Sunday, we have a good chance of seeing those rain showers move through. Monday, I think, will be the day to watch because we do have a chance of seeing some more snow by Monday, and we could see some of those snow showers uh, accumulate just a little bit. So we'll keep our eyes on that forecast for Monday itself, and then the Thanksgiving holiday, maybe a chance of some rain showers, but at this point, it looks pretty tame. The one lucky thing about if we do get those snow showers Monday morning is we have reduced commute volumes next week because yes. so many people are off for the holiday yeah, week. Yeah, so. less people going traditionally to work, but maybe yeah. a, we'll a few more people going the long well, distance. Well, to that's get true, places, that's true. So, so be careful out <laughs> right, there. Either way. Of the story, yeah. All right, thanks, Emily.